Hey, Dave Chamberlain here from Next Level Outdoor Reviews. One of my favorite things to do is to run trail cameras. I put these on my property, other properties I hunt. It gives me a chance to see what kind of animals are passing through. Um, you can have them out in the spring and the summer to see what kind of growth the bucks are putting on, kind of keep track of what kind of animals and deer you have on your property. So just something real enjoyable that I do. It gives us hunters an advantage. We can kind of pattern deer by them as we get into the uh, months around hunting season more. And uh, the camera that I've been running lately is the Browning Dark Ops HD Pro. And uh, I wanna talk to you guys about this camera. It's a great little camera. You've heard the saying small thing, or great things come in small packages. Uh, this is very true with this camera. It's a small camera, but it packs a big punch. So I'm gonna show you some of the um, features of it. I'll give you an up close look at it and then we'll also look at some pictures and videos that the camera has taken. So here they are, check them out. Yeah, Dave Chamberlain here again. We're, I'm gonna go over some of the features of the camera that I really enjoy. Um, the first thing I notice is when I uh, open it up, just the LCD display that's on it. Um, this comes in real handy when you uh, wanna see your pictures on the camera without taking the memory card out. Um, we'll turn this on here and um, if you hit the back button you can go back to previous recorded uh, still images or videos that are on your card. This can be real handy when you're um, just walking in for a hunt and you quickly want to check what came through before uh, the last time you were or what came in after the last time you were in there hunting seeing what's moving through the area quick. Um, again you can go back through images whether they be still images or videos um, it's just real nice to have of course you can take your memory card out of it um, and take that back to a computer or a card reader that you might use um, the camera was real easy to set up didn't take much time at all um, the batteries go in down here and uh, the SD card as well another great feature on the camera is how you can tilt it I'm loosening the knob over here and you can tilt the camera down and cinch it back up So uh, this could come in handy if you're using it on public land and you want to put it up Higher in a tree where it's out of sight for uh, people walking through, you know, theft can be a big problem when you hunt public land So that's a great feature carry a couple of climbing sticks in with you shimmy up the tree a little bit with your harness on and attach the camera and and like I said uh, use the knob right here point it down at a good angle and you're good to go. Um, another thing, it might be small to you, but I really enjoy the buckle clip right here, the metal clip. Real easy to, to adjust the camera height, snug it up to the tree. I've used camera cinch systems before where you have to feed the strap through a, a buckle a couple times, and that's just very cumbersome, especially if you have winter gloves on. So that's, uh, that's real handy to me. It stays on there nice and will last a long time. Again, this is an 18 megapixel camera with 0.3 second trigger speed. It has an 80 foot night IR illumination with invisible flash. The still picker video mode and the video shoots in 720p. It has four picture resolution options. So again, guys, this thing is loaded. Uh, the picture, picture info bar displays time, date, and moon phase, temperature, baromic pressure, and uh, the camera IDs. Um, I noticed as I was running this and testing this out, um, this runs on six AA batteries and it can take up to 10,000 images. Um, so for you guys that have leases or areas that are, are far away and you don't wanna, you're not able to check them every, uh, every couple weeks, you want a camera that you can put out there and set out in the springtime and then go back a couple months later and in late summer or early fall and check pictures nothing worse than driving all that way and realizing that your camera batteries died after after a month or a couple weeks this thing lasts for, lasts for quite some time 10,000 images i mean guys are getting uh up to a year of battery life on these things so selectable delay uh between images is 1 5 10 20 30 seconds and 1 2 5 10 30 60 minutes so um, you can really set it for, customize that for whatever you want. And you can multi-shot up to eight images. So if a deer comes in that you want to get several looks at, you can multi-shot up to eight images. And like I, like I said, this is just a great camera that uh, will store images at up to 500, and it takes up to a 512 gigabyte SD card. 
And again, this camera is back with a one year warranty. So uh, if there's any problems, the folks at Browning will get you taken care of. So to wrap up guys, this is the Browning Dark Ops HD Pro. This is a great trail camera from Browning. I'm, uh, I got nothing but good things to say about it. And I'd encourage you to get on Browning's website and check out the other trail cameras and this trail camera. And uh, good luck to you guys as you run cameras this year.